President-elect Trump, my friend, congratulations on being elected President of the United States of America. You are a great friend of Israel. I love Israel. Over the years, you've expressed your support consistently, and I deeply appreciate it. I look forward to working with you to advance security, prosperity, and peace. Israel is grateful for the broad support it enjoys among the American people, and I'm confident that the two of us, working closely together, will bring the great alliance between our two countries to even greater heights. May God bless America. May God bless Israel. May God bless our enduring alliance. It is time to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. Her papers went out to all her friends at the banks, Goldman Sachs, and everybody else. President-elect Donald Trump turned to former Goldman Sachs banker and movie financier Steve Mnuchin to be the next Treasury Secretary. We're working on the economic plan of the transition, making sure we get the biggest tax bill passed. The 53-year-old was Trump's campaign finance chief, building a network of donors to support Mr. Trump's general election campaign. Mr. Mnuchin has strong ties to Wall Street after a 17-year career at Goldman Sachs, where he pioneered block trading, the selling of big chunks of shares at once. Mr. Mnuchin was born to a Jewish family in 1962, and his father also worked at Goldman Sachs. More breaking news at a busy hour. Charlie Gasparino in the newsroom has a word of a possible uh, cabinet appointment. What do you have, Charlie? Well, at least a consideration, uh, Connell, and this is uh, big for Wall Street because uh, you know, this is one of the major players on Wall Street. And what sources are telling the Fox Business Network is, is that Goldman C COO, Gary Cohn, he's the number two guy there to Lloyd Blankfein, the CEO, is also being considered for energy secretary mm -hmm. after his meeting with President-elect uh, President Donald Trump earlier in the week. Uh, from what we understand, Trump and, and Cohn, who met, I think it was on, on uh, Tuesday, had a very productive meeting uh, at Trump Tower. We, we, uh, we, we, we have some footage of, the, of him going in. There's been plenty of rumors about him uh, being possibly the OMB chief, but the other name that we're hearing they're considering is Energy Secretary. And I'll tell you, this comes as uh, rumors are swirling inside Goldman Sachs that Cohen, you know, who's been rumored to leave for a long time, he's been very un un unhappy being the number two. He's a very ambitious guy. He thinks he deserves number one. Lloyd Blankfein, now that he's uh, survived a cancer scare, is probably not leaving for a while. Uh, and he's getting itchy again. This is and this has been going on for years. So every time there's been a Ga Gary Cohn story uh, that he's leaving er every two years, but this one seems like it's it's got some some uh, some relevance here, particularly with his meeting with Trump. Uh, we should point out him going as the energy secretary is a pr is a pretty good fit. Uh, he's a commodities trader. Right. He's pretty smart, and uh, you know he's been doing energy-related work right. for a long time. It actually sounds like a better fit than O and B. Than O and B, right? Uh, but that's where we are right now. We're not saying it's going to happen. We're saying that he's on the list apparently as a potential energy secretary. Very. Uh, and uh, and 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 he is at right now. The rumor is inside Goldman, and they have not deny this, that he is imminently, that, that he's looking to bolt out of there because he, he, it's either he wants this or he wants to be CEO and he's not going to be CEO. Right, so you look to, to get out for that. Thank you, Charlie. Trump's personal life was in shambles and professionally he wasn't faring much better. He said it was because he took his eye off the ball. Did Trump ever acknowledge to you that he knew he was in Big trouble. Oh, yes. Oh, he knew he was in big trouble. I think he borrowed more than most other prudent real estate people. He had extended himself to the Trump shuttle, to a yacht, to a helicopter, and to a lot of things which weren't generating any cash flow, and he had to support his lifestyle. So he was in trouble. When the economy and the real estate market plummeted in 1990, attorney Alan Pomerantz says Donald Trump owed $4 billion to his debtors, including almost a billion dollars for which he was personally responsible. Trump owed money all over town to 72 banks in all. Pomerantz represented them as a group. How close was he to going personally bankrupt? Very. 
Trump makes a point of saying he never went personally bankrupt. But there's a reason why the banks decided to keep Trump whole. We made the decision that he would be worth more alive to us than dead. Sources tell Fox News as Donald Trump campaigned yesterday at Sheldon Adelson's Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas, the two casino magnates met for a private chat, though Trump made only a brief public mention of Adelson and his wife Miriam. Really incredible people, and they've been so supportive, and we appreciate it. That support now includes $25 million from the Adelsons to an anti-Hillary Clinton super PAC backed by TD Ameritrade founder Joe Ricketts and his wife Marlene. Clear. Uh, I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. The wall just got 10 feet higher. It's true. It's true. But so part wall, fence part be, fence? Yeah, it could be, there could be some fencing. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm going to say it. And I hate to say it. But if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation. Everything he just said is absolutely false. Hillary has worked very long and very hard over a long period of time, and we owe her a major debt of gratitude for her service to our country. I mean that very sincerely. Are you going to ask for a special prosecutor to investigate Hillary Clinton over her emails. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about it. She did some it... bad things. I mean, she I did know, some bad things. I know, but the special prosecutor? You I think don't want to might... hurt them. I don't want to hurt them. They're, they're good people. Hillary Clinton, commonly referred to as Crooked Hillary. She's crooked as a $3 bill. She's married to an abuser, a woman who claimed rape, and all sorts of things. I mean, horrible things. She should be in prison. She's the queen of corruption. She's a disaster. She is a dangerous liar. She's the devil. She's a monster. Uh, Hillary Clinton, I think, is a terrific woman. I mean, I'm a little biased because I've known her for years. I live in New York. She lives in New York. And I've known her and her husband for years, and I really like them both a lot. And I think she really works hard. And I think she, again, she's given an agenda. It's not all of her, but 
Uh, I think she really works hard, and I think she does a good job. I just like her. I like her, and I like her husband. You'll be looking at the record of Hillary Clinton, and how did she do as Secretary of State? Probably above and beyond everybody else and everything else.